imagine him into life, we could imagine anything! Yeah. yeah! We could imagine money and give it to the poor! We could imagine an extinct species and bring it back to life! We could imagine I never got caught by mom using her hair removal cream on my butt! Or we could imagine I never said that. <laughs> okay! Hi! Nice to meet you! High five! <laughs> Well, Anais looks like we found someone as socially awkward as you. Uh, why don't you guys try and be friends? Go on. Come on, guys, make an effort. Make eye contact. Come on. Come on. I said eye contact with him. Eh, I don't have to do it. Now let's try a smile. Like this. Ah. More teeth. We need more teeth. Uh, good. You don't want to make friends with a straight jacket. Let's move on to making small talk. Demonstration. Oh, hi. Oh, I love your hair. What's your secret? No pattern hair loss with the sprinkle of stress. So, who do you know here? Oh, I'm Anais's brother. Really? Me too. She's so weird looking, right? Yeah, she's like a garden gnome who got her head transplanted from an Easter Island statue. <laughs> <laughs> we both like that fun at the detriment of others. We should totally be friends. All right, your turn. Uh... Come on, say something. Uh, I like hair. Uh, here. Have some. <laughs> oh, uh, you have some hair, too. <clears throat> oh, uh, here. I'm pretty sure that's not how you make friends. Put it back on. Okay, you weirdos, just say hi and shake hands. Hello. Hi. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. No, no, wait! Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Stop it, Tickles! <laughs> it's hard to know how to feel about this. On the one hand, it's aww, but on the other hand, it's <laughs> It doesn't matter. I made a friend. Which means it's time to party! No more residents are reporting a series of break-ins across the neighborhood with... Hey, kids, you all right? Yeah, we're just playing with our imaginary friends. Well, he better leave me some cupcakes. Don't worry, he only eats hair. Well, he better leave me some of that, too. I've been saving his face in my stomach. Right here. I mean, right here. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Shh, this looks important. Who is said to be over seven feet tall. Now just hold still. Good. Okay, and go. Hmm? Uh, sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay, no harm done. <laughs> <sighs> Inside and make another pinata. I'm sure the last one made some kids in the South Pole very happy. And now an update on the terrifying intruder who is breaking into Elmore Homes. Here is a police sketch based on eyewitness reports. Oh, guys, I think it would be better if you played inside today. There's a. Sure, if we give them a minute, everything will calm down. No, let me in there! Let me in there! Sorry, ma'am, but this is a police matter. We're professionals. You can trust us. Okay, let me see. Where's the index police negotiation? Police. Is that one word or two? You know how some people say, police. <laughs> so, Mr. and Mrs. Watterson, I called you in today to discuss concerns regarding your daughter, Anais. Judging by this alarming painting, you, madam, are suffering from work-related stress. You, sir, are not a good role model. And these two children are clearly lacking in discipline. <laughs> Kids, come on, come on, please. When I look at this painting, I see a family that... A family that has problems. Principal Brown, if I may interrupt... Oh, don't worry, sweetie. It's not your fault. It's your fault! I'm sorry, Princess Cheesecake. The sausage fairy made me do it. Sweetie, I had no idea we were such a terrible family. <laughs> please, please! Anyway, for the good of your family, I've drawn up a recovery schedule to get you back on track. 
I'll make it short. You, madam, need to stop working and relax. Your husband needs to stop relaxing and work. As for you, Gumball and Darwin, <laughs> you'll be spending the day with Mr. Small, the school counselor, to channel your energy in a less destructive way. Well, Principal, we'd be happy to try anything if you think it's going to help Anais. Can I just say something? You don't need to, uh. sweetie. We're all going to get better. Right, boys? Uh-huh. I said, right, boys? Yes, of course, honey. What did I just agree to? You gotta get a job. No! Well, thank you, Principal Brown. We'll do our best. Mr. Water. Welcome to my five step program for undisciplined children. Step one Primal Scream. What's that? It's when you channel all your rage into a violent vocal release, like this. Ah! You guys try it. Uh, I don't think I have any rage. Me neither. Everyone has anger, Gumball. Just look inside yourself and find it. Inside? Yes, anything? Uh, no, nothing at all. Try it anyway. Okay. <gasps> oh, you could do better than that. <gasps> okay, Darwin, your turn. Take a deep breath and let it all out. <gasps> Okay, Nicole, relax. It's for the good of my daughter, so I'm just going to sit and do nothing. Oh, this is going to be hard. So, how about those FK reports that Simon drew up? Oh yeah, I was reading them in the bathroom. Ha, too much information, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the best employee we ever had at Chanex Incorporated. Here's the key to the executive washroom. <gasps> no way. Way, way, way. Well, all I have to do is make that dream come true and I'll be fine. I'll do it for you, my little girl. Ooh. And need that key to the executive washroom. <laughs> Now, we need to rebuild the trust that you lost. On the plate to your right are the cupcakes. On the plate to your left is the bad food, like liver and stuff. What you need to do is trust the other person to feed you the good food. Sure, no problem. Mm. Dude, I thought you tricked me. Me too. I expected a mouthful of rat cake or something. I, I always knew, knew I could, I could trust, trust you, buddy. But I thought that the left plate, plate was... <laughs> <sighs> and that was for flaking out on me at the supermarket. What? What'd you do? The cupcakes you just ingested released with parasitic eggs. All they needed to hatch was a moist and warm environment. Your stomach. <gasps> What's gonna happen to us? First, they'll eat their way into your stomach lining. What? Then they will crawl up your head and lay eggs in your eyeball. Ah! Eat them out! I can see them already! There's only one way to lure them out. Uh, how long do we have to do this for? Until they dance their way out. Uh, there wasn't anything in the cupcakes, was there? Nope, but there's something on the internet now. G give me that phone! <laughs> give it here, Lee! <laughs> you should take me to your buddies again. That's true, but you're still getting it! <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello, sweetie. I just wanted to know if your dad felt any better. Um, yeah, he's fine. Can you pass me on to him, please? Uh, yeah. One minute. <clears throat> Hello, Mrs. Mom. What's for dinner? Really? Yep. Where is he? Mom must be on her way right now. We're gonna get our butts kicked. Yeah, I would've thought the anesthetics would've made him a better driver. <gasps> oh my gosh, Marvin! <gasps> what has Dad done? Ah! 
Please help me up. I was trying to do sit-ups, but I'm too old. <sighs> hey, what about me? Uh, yeah, you can do it if you believe in yourself. And don't forget to stretch when you finish. Uh. Well, looks like the anesthetics improved his parking, too. This is not funny. We need to find him right now before something terrible happens. <gasps> Look, Dad's pants! <laughs> you have to catch me if you want to hit me! <laughs> oh, little teasing for the love fatness. No, thank you. He's delicious just the way he is. Stop! It's not funny anymore. It's just weird. <laughs> Radio Elmore. Newsflash, we're receiving reports of a fat, pantless, pink, middle-aged man bunny causing disturbance in the city of Elmore. He's reported to have attacked and nibbled several bystanders. One extremely... <laughs> Come on. And now the weather, Diane. Did you see that? It was Mrs. Mom's car. Right, we've got to split up. Gumball, you sort out the house. Darwin, you try and delay Mom. I'll take care of Dad. Go! And no flaking out! to report her stolen yellow family wagon. I didn't do anything. You've got to believe me. We'll see about that, lady. Let's just see those papers first. That's better. See? Happy baby. Hey, Anais. What's that you're drawing? Oh, very good. Is that Mommy? Uh, and Mr. Daddy? Uh, and where are we? Uh, oh, we're the flowers? Uh -uh. Oh, right. Uh, let's play a game. You want to play a game? <laughs> okay, this one is called Hide and Seek. We close our eyes and count, and you hide. Ready? Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> hey, where are you going? That was terrifying. Yeah, well, at least your soul was going upwards. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of you. You're going right back to where you came from. Uh. Hey, what's that? No one loves you. Signed, Gumball and Darwin. Ugh, I would never write something like that. No one loves you. Well, yeah, that's more like it. What is going on here? Darwin really brightened everyone's lives? Well, don't you think it's time we gave that gift of happiness to another family? And by that gift of happiness, I mean Anais. And by another family, I mean a pack of scavenging hyenas. <sighs> Look, I understand. You're no longer the babies of the house, and that's a big adjustment. It was difficult for your father as well. Mm, but just because there's a new baby in the house doesn't mean I'll love you any less. So, you mean love multiplies? No, it divides. But I'll take the difference from your dad's portion and hope our marriage survives until you go to college. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Now let's hug. <laughs> 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 Maybe Mrs. Mom is right. Anais isn't the problem. We are. Come on, let's play with her. Peek-a-boo! Hmm, let's try with funnier faces. Peek-a-boo! Ah, oh, come on. peek a Boom. I'm gonna 
you don't know our cereal? Mm, it looks okay. Why is she doing the face then? <gasps> There's enough sugar in here to clog your arteries in a couple of spoonfuls. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I'm getting anxiety attacks. <sighs> oh, thank you. <gasps> You know, there are easier ways to hurt your eyes. You could pour salt in them while you stare at the sun, for example. I'm sorry, Carrie. It's just I promised Anaïs we'd do something she wanted today. We didn't realize how unbearable it'd be. And we haven't even watched it yet. Come on, we're already late. <laughs> oh, man, we're gonna get the face when we get home. What, this one? No, that's Silent Fury. What we're gonna get is I Know You Let Me Down. Oh. That's it, but don't forget the slow head shake. I can handle that, as long as we don't get the you mean nothing to me back turn. Don't worry. As long as nothing gets in our way, we'll be fine. What? Uh, don't you think you should help that guy? You clearly took the cover off. So? You guys are way closer. That means it's your problem. Uh, can I get a little help here? Listen, man, we'd love to help, but we're kind of in a hurry. Well, I'm kind of in a manhole. Which you wouldn't be stuck in if you weren't quite so... What, fat? No, what I meant was... Voluptuous, flesh rich, horizontally tall... Distracted! I was going to say distracted. I think you're a beautiful man. Still, what kind of bozo runs around not looking where he's going, blindly texting on his phone? I wasn't texting. I was updating my status so everyone knows I'm jogging. Why? To get those little thumbs up on Elmo Plus. All right, let's get you out of here, you attention hog. You're doing the face, aren't you? Why are you late? <laughs> well, funny story, uh, we are helping the guy out of a manhole, and we... No need to lie. It's obvious you guys don't want to watch the movie with me. Oh, no, that's not true. I can't wait to watch some princess trying to tame a stupid pony just to impress some foppish prince from Luxembourg! Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's just my brain refuses to let me lie about this film. Just hurry up, okay? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Ah! There. Whose problem is it now? Dude, we need to get home. She's already hit a force five on the guilt trip scale. Gumbo, Darwin! What's up, guys? Hey! Rich? Did you just call me Rich like it was a question? Ha! <laughs> Did I say Rich? I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm into your name. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> Which is. <sighs> Rob! My name is Rob! Rob! Of course, man! I'm sorry. Hey, listen, we're in a massive hurry, but we should totally hang out soon. I'll, I'll call you, bro. You don't have my number. You don't remember me at all, do you? And this, this is just some hollow promise! Dude, it's not that. We've just been distracted because, uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. See that hole? <laughs> Darwin! I can't believe you just did that! Did what? Uh, uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Dad, am I boring? Of course not, sweetie pie. Then why don't Gumball and Darwin want to hang out with me? Uh, uh, think, Richard, think. Your little girl is feeling insecure. This is a real parenting situation. What you say now could affect her for the rest of her life. So say the right thing. Say the right thing. The right thing! What? Speak to your mother! I... I gotta stop, man. Uh, I can't keep running like this. Come on, you can do it. It's all in the mind. Uh, you don't understand. My legs have given up. I even have a cramp in my bones. Your legs haven't given up. You have. You think? You should try walking in my shoes for once. <sighs> Dad, did you find a mechanic? No, I think there's something wrong with the compass. Richard, show me that. It's a watch. You've been following it in a circle for 12 hours. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated, I can't even cry. It's okay. The sun's going down. It'll be dark soon. <gasps> Just in time to get eaten alive. Long way from home, ain't ya? <laughs> oh, it's okay. He's not toothless. Oh, thank you, sir, but we have roadside assistance. I'll just use my cell. 
looking for I call him for help, but you won't get none. There's no signal here. <laughs> <laughs> Please excuse me for a second. I don't suppose you could help us, could you? Sure, but we better go soon. <laughs> we don't want to miss dinner. <laughs> Okay, it's toothless now. Time to panic. Kid, stop staring at him. But Mom, it's the guy from the story. No, oh, don't be silly. Thank you again, sir. This is very kind of you. Don't worry about me. I'm just working up my appetite. <laughs> We're being pushed to our doom. Really, really slowly. Look, just because he matches the story I made up doesn't mean he's a psycho, even if he is obviously, you know, dentally challenged. And anyway, I'd be very surprised if we ended up in a derelict gas station. Yeah, what do you know? Here we are, your final destination. Really? He lives in a gas station? Come on! It's just an assassination, an obliteration, an extermination. Oh, I mean a coincidence. How about you guys just go stretch your legs? I don't like this, dude. Me neither. We should watch our backs. That's much better. He stuffed all of his animals and his mom! Well, come on! Mom, we gotta get out of here now! Yes, about that. Apparently the engine is caramelized. <gasps> caramelized. Mm. Mm. <sighs> he can't fix it. We're stuck here. But the good news is, he says he'll have us for dinner. Can you guys stop screaming every five minutes? Actually, we're doing a silent scream. We need to save our voices for when he hates us! You guys are being ridiculous, scaring yourselves with narrow-minded assumptions about country people. Big brain for such a small thing. I like that. <laughs> we gotta get out of here now! All right, that's it. I only get five days off a year. We already wasted Christmas when you decorated the house with whipped cream instead of fake snow. Merry Christmas! Oh! Uh, how much cream did you eat? Then there was the 4th of July. Be careful, Richard. Then your mother's visit. After you drop me at the mall, go to the grocery store and buy me a melon. Not too hard, not too soft. Then pick me up at 2.30. Don't be late, I have a 3 p.m. appointment at the beauty parlor, and by the looks of you, you could do with an appointment yourself. Then you need to collect my- And let's not forget Halloween. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Richard? There's some liquid in my lungs. So I am not going to ruin this by listening to your crazy assumptions. We said we were going camping, so we are going camping! <sighs> and it'll be nice. Thanks for the hospitality, sir. Could you just let us know when dinner's ready? Oh, don't worry. You'll be the first to know. Mmm, <laughs> caramel. Copy, huh? Well, copy this! <laughs> <laughs> ha! I just made you eat cowboy caviar! Dude, he's standing next to the lighties. Wait, so. Stop it! It makes me want to rough with other people! <laughs> so, we were in the exotic food aisle, and they were copying everything we did! Exotic food. They were like us, but fake. Like margarine to our butter. Margarine and butter. Seriously, it was like looking at a mirror made of meat. Mirror. Are you even listening to what we're saying? Oh, honey, everyone has a doppelganger. Remember that sunburnt guy's belly that looked like Anais? You don't understand. They were literally cupping everything we... <gasps> there they are! What the... The... <laughs> Look at this! Click translate. Oh, here's my doppelganger, Chi Chi. This goat is attention of the center. He is serious, don't you trust him? A heavy party love hero with powerful personality defectives. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Look at mine, Ribbit. This frog is a frog. But why? He's so green and mighty, you wouldn't trust him with lunch. What's that? 
Yes, he is determined. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a tired, lazy belly male lurking inside sofa. Watch him obnoxious, laugh, and spoil yourself. <laughs> I think I just spoiled myself a little. Look at mine. Wowie, what a mother. Who cares if she's annoying? You? <laughs> <laughs> What's my doppelganger like? <laughs> Delete it. What? Why? Because women no right to celebrate in Republic of People. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I don't understand. Wait. This isn't funny at all. Exactly. I'm not part of it because I'm a girl. <laughs> no. I mean, these guys have their own TV show and they're ripping us off. Well, look at this. The kids you decided to have. <laughs> these guys are making money out of our lives while we're broke. Come on, we're not that broke. Mom, we're so broke that we give you owe to charity. Mm, yeah, you're right. We should sue them. Guys, a lawyer would cost way too much dough. How much dough? Like thousands of dollars. I mean, how much in cookie dough? <sighs> Millions of tons. <gasps> Wait a minute. How could they copy that? It literally just happened. It literally just happened. <gasps> what? what the what? What the what? Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's settle this in a civilized manner. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Gumball. Hi, my name is Cheetah. Stop repeating everything I say! cleaning under the bed. It's like cleaning a dumpster. It's designed to be filthy. Because this room smells like dog burp. Oh, what is this? Oh, well, that's a glass of milk. <laughs> cheese. That, that's a glass of cheese. <laughs> stone. That's a glass of stone. Are you kidding me? That milk had to be at least 10 years old. Well, at least there's nothing alive under there. <laughs> left to live a happier life on a farm with other fishes. <laughs> you did. Uh, you did. Uh, hey! Look what I found! The game you made! Hang on, I'm not three anymore. You're not gonna distract me with... What the what? Dodge or dare. It's calling us. No! We swore we'd never play that game again! Ignore the calls. <sighs> we have to destroy that game. <gasps> it's gone! Wait! Don't throw the dice! You don't know what you're doing! Yeah, because you didn't write any instructions. And what you did write is spelt wrong. Dodds or dar? Sounds like an alien choosing a baby name. Let's just pack it away. No! You can't stop! Once you start Dodger Dare, it has to be finished. Okay, so the rules are pretty simple. You roll the dice, then take a dare card. If you do the dare, then you move forward that many spaces. If you don't, then you have to take a dodge card and move half the spaces. Okay, and how do you win? You don't win, you survive. Okay, but how do you actually win? Oh, you have to roll an exact number to land on the last square. Dad, you're up. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever's got to do this one. Uh, hey, officer, please! I need to report a theft! Yes, finally! What did the thief look like? Well, he was wearing a monocle. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh... Anything else? Yes, he had a big furry mustache. Uh huh. Big furry mustache. Okay. Any other distinguishing features? Yes, he was dressed as a yodeler. 
Aren't you gonna write that down? Just testing something. And what did that man steal? A kiss. <laughs> you actually did it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how it always starts, with the laughing and the dares, and then later, the horror and fear. I go. Hmm. Order a prank pizza. Uh-huh. And what's the address? <clears throat> 420 Grove Street. Oh, and could you add some turkey gizzards? As well as the ice cream pig's foot and oysters? Yes, it's an old family recipe invented by my grandfather, old Joe Windy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could be there to see that pizza arrive. Okay, 420 Grove Street, here we go. Pizza guy. What are you talking about? I sell pizzas. Why would I buy one? Well, someone's got to pay for this. I'm not paying for something I didn't order. What am I supposed to do with this now? Give it to me. I'll show you. Yeah. I think all these jobs are messing with my head. Sobreviva la presión! She's gaining on us! Ah! That remote is mine! Then come and get it! being a responsible citizen. <sighs> Come on, dude! Cutie Vest starts in five minutes! What is... <laughs> La casa de las lágrimas comienza en cinco minutos! Oh, no, it doesn't! Win or don't win does! I, I don't give it to me! I'm a celebrity! Wait a minute! <laughs> this isn't a TV remote. <laughs> My car! What? It's the one Anais told me to get. Why would Anais tell you to buy the wrong... remote? She planned this whole thing from the start. First, she gave Mom the idea to buy a new remote. I wish I had enough money to buy my own remote! So when I called, she must have given me the name of her garage door opener. Fine. Let me have a look. It's a logic car, 2000. Thanks, honey. She overheard my riddle. I know this one! Waited till you guys were at Butt Valley and cut a hole in the sofa so she could take the rear remote. And the remote she smashed upstairs must have been a decoy. Which means the real one must still be in the house. <gasps> My hands. Thanks for the tip. Daisy. Oh yeah. All I need is my Daisy. de 
la casa de las lágrimas. ¡Oh, madre mía! Ugh. Oh, mom, Darren is being a complete mom! No offense to you. Offense to you! I'm sorry, but your brother is right. Vegetables are full of pesticides, meat is full of hormones, fish is full of mercury, milk is not meant to be digested, sugar makes you fat, and bread is full of gluten. The only solution is to eat pure proteins, carbohydrates, fat minerals, and vitamins. It is for our own good. It, it is, is for our own, own good. Can you pass the iron? The only one here thinks this is completely crazy! Is it crazy to keep your loved ones safe? I don't mind, as long as I'm full. Careful, Mr. Dad. It's dangerous to take too many vitamins. No. Oh. I'd like to complain about your cartoon. I disapprove of the use of dynamite. It is imitable and could endanger the life of a child. Where would a child be able to buy dynamite? Are you saying your channel and sponsors don't care about our nation's children? Okay, no dynamite. I'm sorry, we can't allow that either. But a child can't lift an anvil. But he might hurt himself trying. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No running in the road. And, of course, no violence. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't really going to bite his tail. The joke is that he's going to give me my own tail. No jokes, please. A child might laugh and choke. Can we keep the music? No, thank you. It's the gateway to rock and roll, which is the root of all evil. Repeat after me. Uh, it's for our own good. It's for our own good. It's for our own good. No, no, guys, wait, look! I would never imitate what I see on TV! Guys, come back! <laughs> <laughs> You know you can't talk to the characters inside the TV, right? And birds can carry diseases! Huh? <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Darwin tied us up while he went to make sure the rest of Elmore is safe. It, it is, is for our own good. good. How can this be for our own good? Don't you realize it? <laughs> what is that? That's the best way for you to exercise safely. That was my idea. Uh, it is for our own good. Have you lost your minds? How could you give up your freedom? Okay, Gumbo, we don't have much time. Just do as I say. No, I love you, Mother, but I stand for freedom. No, Gumbo, you don't get it. Sorry, I can't hear you over my freedom. Gumbo, we're talking about the... Oh, that's right. Laugh it up. Let's all give away our freedom and laugh about it. <laughs> Everybody careful. I think we're being watched. <sighs> That's what you wanted to say, wasn't it? Of course. What? Oh, nothing. Let's get out of here and stop your brother. He's at the town hall. We have to get there and stop him. Before what? He plans to invade the rest of the world to make it safe. How do you know all this? He told us. Why didn't you stop him? Because it's Darwin. He's really cute. He was all like, our resistance is futile. Those who stray from the path will be corrected. Today is safe for Elmore. Tomorrow is safe for world. What? How could you not see that he was dangerous? Actually, now that I think of it, it must have been adorable. Aww. Aww. All right, let's take this cutie patootie down. <gasps> I don't mean to alarm you or damage your eardrums by shouting, but under the new regime, you're under arrest for treason. Please don't force us to use our balloon batons. Wait, so that's not real? Mom, instead of milk, can we have chocolate milk? No. Instead of eggs, can we have chocolate eggs? No. Instead of bread, can we have chocolate bread? No. <sighs> Richard, can I get a little help here, please? Sure. Here, kids, stop bothering your mother and eat this chocolate. <sighs> dragging us here if we're not getting some kind of treat. Because we're having a nice family outing, and that should be reward enough. Uh, Don't you dare. <laughs> I'm under I'm 
sorry, little sausage, but you've had too much candy this week. <laughs> now all the little sausages are punished and going to have to wait in the car. This is the face she's going to get when she comes back. <gasps> yeah, pretty good. But this is how you do a sulky face. <laughs> it's all in the detail. Eh, it would be better if it dropped. No problem. <laughs> I can't believe we wasted a day at the mall without getting anything. You know what we should do? We should make full-size paper models of ourselves, set the car on fire, and push it off a cliff to teach Mom a lesson. Uh, I think I have a better, less horrific idea. Customer announcement. As part of our campaign, Huggy Bites are offering a lifetime supply of jelly beans to the first man to hug the blue lady in aisle three. Huh? Huggy Bites. More love than you can chew. Get your head off her! That's my wife! <gasps> if anyone should win those huggy bites, it's me! Hey! What is going on here? Please don't tell! <gasps> you should be ashamed of yourselves! What would your poor mother think about this kind of behavior? What would it take to make all this go away? 80-20. And throw in some huggy bites as well for tricking me and those poor customers. <gasps> That's it, I'm telling. Mrs. Mom, we came up with this really clever idea to get candy behind your back. Then Mr. Dad got us and now he wants a magic uh, gun of it. And it's back to the car. Your children deserve a better example. You need to grow up. Don't forget your appointment at the cardiologist. Boring. Huh, discipline. I'm not a punisher, I'm a fun issue. And she's not the boss of me. Have you ever told her this? Uh, yeah, lots of times in my head. What about to her face? No, kids, she snapped me like a twig. Okay, I think we need to work on this. Let's go through it one last time. Who are you? I'm the man. And what does man do? Whatever the heck he wants. And why? Because I'm a beautiful, powerful animal. Then let me hear you roar. <laughs> now suck that gun in. <gasps> Ten those pecs. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel? Fantastic. Good, now go and get us some candy. Hey, woman. You're gonna listen to me, and you're gonna listen good! I'm calling the shots now! Hey! You listen to the man when he's talking! And here we are, in the natural habitat of the Mubis Gelatinous, spending today, as he does every day, sheltering himself from responsibility. But what's this? It seems a nearby kick buttus Asterichus is returning from a successful hunt. The Mubis will be keen to scavenge. It is essential he evades discovery. He knows that despite his size, he's no match for the physical prowess of the elegant kick buttus. He's not here for the small pickings. He knows that it may be up to an hour before he's allowed to eat again. His timing must be perfect, so he waits. And he strikes. <laughs> the kid butters will give chase. Come here, Maggie. Richard. Things are looking bad for the Mubis. However, nature gave him a silent but deadly defense mechanism that triggers itself when he feels threatened. Oh, Richard! The Mubis seizes his chance and retreats to his den. Come back here. The kid butters defends her territory, but in doing so, commits another mistake. In this ruthless ecosystem, an unguarded kill is quickly claimed by the vultures. Okay, prepare yourself. 3D without glasses. What I want you to do is just focus on my eyes until your vision adjusts. Now, it takes a little time, and you might need to get a little closer to the screen. The best distance is normally about three inches. Now keep watching until the 3D effect kicks in. Keep looking. Almost there. Almost. Why are we hiding? Shh, just look at him. What is he doing? Looks like he's got worms. B A. What the what? Wait up, I'm gonna get some too. You may now start your tests. Zoom in, zoom in. I need to see how he does this. Dude, he's using
using cheat codes in real life. I need to learn that code, man. Look, he's doing it again. E A. All right, dude, film this. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. What is this cheat for? It's for... <laughs> Call an ambulance, an ambulance! Hi, I'm Tobias Wilson, and a lot of people ask me, can you teach me to be as cool as you? And I say, no, you'll never be as cool as me. But I can teach you to be cooler than you. And just maybe, you'll be a hit with the ladies like me. What up, sunshine? If you want to get dates, you got to pump weights. Because girls can't deny a guy who's this fly. So let's get some muscles and score some girls from, like, Brussels or something. Let's do this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If there's one thing girls love, it's cash. So you gotta make it rain. That's right. Now I've got the look and the fliff. All I need is the lady. Hey, beautiful. Do you have a quarter? Because I told my mom I'd call her when I fell in love. Uh, no, I'm sorry I don't. But you can use my cell. Mm. Who did this? Those kids! I'm gonna get you for this! Come out! Stop calling the cell! Oh no! They know we wrecked the car! What do you mean you wrecked the car? Ah! Dad? Hi. Daisy, Daisy the donkey. Mom? Why are the Robinsons talking to the sheriff on a lawn? I don't know, sweetie. I think we'll just go around the back. I tell you, Sheriff, it was those kids next door, as sure as I... What? We just touched it with this sponge and it fell apart. So we decided to hide here forever. Such a sad story. But it's not true. You see, it was 9 o'clock this morning and... Come on, Electrofat. Make me beautiful! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Robinson's new car. Oh, okay. It's just a dink. I'll bang it out. <clears throat> this may take a while. There! Finished! <laughs> Phew! So you see, it was my fault, not yours. What should we do now? Well, I think the most responsible thing to do is to hide here forever and never let your mother find out what happened. I already know. Ah! Honey? But it's not quite what you think. It was 9 o'clock this morning and... Wait, can I do this? Yay! Put the tape on, Mom. Yes, honey. Where is it? Here. They parked right in front of our lawn. I just didn't see it. I was about to tell Mr. Robinson, but... Horrible mother. <sighs> so, we went to see the show. And it was great! So there, it was mostly my fault. I'm so relieved. It was a family effort. Darn it! I know they're up there! Get in there and arrest those vandals! I know without a warrant, sir. Ah! I pay my taxes, and that pays your salary. Ergo, I'm your boss. Now get in there and do your job. Please, sir, calm down. All right. I suppose I shall have to take matters into my own hands, huh? Well, here come the Robinsons. Poor Mr. Robinson. We wrecked his beautiful new car, and nobody has the courtesy to apologize. We should be ashamed of ourselves. So let's get out there and apologize, as a family. <sighs> okay. <gasps> this is what happens when you mess with Gaylord. This is what happens. This is what happens. This is what happens. They look kind of angry, Gumball. Please stop. Please. Please, ma'am. 
Drop the duster. Please! No, ma'am! No! No! Ah! Ah! We should give them time to calm down. So, uh, do you want to press charges? Yeah, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm sure they learned their lesson. It's too bad you have to live next to such monsters. Don't worry, Mr. Robinson. We'll look after your house while you're gone. <laughs> such a great guy. Well, there's one important thing we learned today. Huh? That electro-fat machine was worth every penny. No, I didn't get a new haircut. No, I'm not desperately trying to get notice for waxing my mustache. Mm. <gasps> no, I haven't had my dentures widened, and I don't wear dentures. And by the way, I can plainly see you're all miming, so just man up and ask. What do we do wrong? <laughs> it might be that a certain someone forgot a certain something. Uh, you're being a bit hypocritical here. You can't be angry at someone for forgetting something if you can't even remember their name or what they forgot. <sighs> It's fine. No need to make a fuss about it. I got it. There must be some secret fuss that I shouldn't know about. No, there is no fuss. <laughs> no fuss. <laughs> got it. No, seriously, there is no fuss. You just said you didn't want a fuss. Also, what is all this fuss about? Sure, you didn't organize any fuss. I'm not bluffing. There's no fussing. <gasps> oh, I wonder who this could be. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. This is from the IRS. You better pay it. They're getting serious. Your home will be repossessed. There you go. What? <gasps> A party! I know it! Yay! <laughs> Even acupuncture couldn't save him. A special day, oh! Get 25% off at Dave's Skywriting Emporium? Wait, so you really haven't organized anything? Oh, okay. It's all right, it's quite all right, really. Don't make a fuss. Okay, then. <sighs> Something about her body language tells me she doesn't mean that. Yep, pack your bags, we're about to go on the round-the-world guilt trip, unless we figure out what we should be making a fuss about. <sighs> Dirty socks and filthy clothes When all I wanted was a sweet red rose And how could anyone forget or fail to see why I'm upset he made me laugh with things he said but now he can't remember the day we ah! Gumbo, put out the fire ah! no, no! <laughs> the song finish the song no a certain someone should know why today is important why did you say we shouldn't be making a fuss if you get all angry about it when we don't? No need to make a fuss is a thing people say, but they obviously don't mean it. It's all in the subtext, like when someone says, I'm only two minutes away. We should stay in touch. Or, it's fine, honey. Uh, okay. So are you gonna tell us what we should be celebrating? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. So that's three kids' meals, a salad, and 47 double cheeseburgers. 47? Richard! Relax. I asked for Swiss cheese. It's healthier. What? How? It's got holes in it. Let's make that one cheeseburger and some carrot sticks. What? If you don't feed me properly, how do you expect me to keep my six pack? 
You're what? You'll miss this when it's gone. That's 17 bucks, 15 cents. Uh-huh. And I'm sorry, the card has been declined. It says insufficient funds. I don't understand. There should be money on that card. Where's it all gone? Hmm. I don't want to point the finger, but... Dad, what'd you do with the money? Well, I did what all the business sharks do to avoid getting taxed. I transferred it to an offshore bank account. Richard, what exactly have you done with my... Sorry, our... No, wait, actually, my money. Like I said, I put it offshore. But not before converting it into gold. <laughs> ah! down with my irresistible charm! Hmm. <sighs> We're broke! <laughs> no, wait. We can't afford the water bills now. This is all we got. Drink up. Hey, there might be a less gross solution. We're filming a commercial for Joyful Burger in here later. So? So, you guys are the ideal Joyful Burger family. What do you mean? Not too attractive, not too intelligent, totally dysfunctional. You guys have got it all. And you'll get paid! Where do we sign? No! We're not gonna let ourselves be reduced to some cliches for a quick corporate buck. We're the Watersons, and we don't sell out. What's that? I symbolically burned it, because I'm not allowed to use a real lighter. Are you guys already convinced? I haven't even done my rant about how the little fish got together. And they can think of... Now what? The fridge. What? There's nothing in there. Exactly. Where's all the food? Gumball, you're the one who wanted us to keep our dignity and not sell out. This is what happens when you can't buy things. You don't have things. Then why'd you all listen to me? Because no matter how hard it is for me to admit, you are... <laughs> you are... <laughs> Darwin, you tell him it's making me gag. What she's trying to say is, you're right. We shouldn't sell out. Funny, I thought victory tastes sweeter. What does it taste of? Mm. <laughs> Kinda like hunger. Mm. <laughs> Look, we might have run out of food, but we've still got each other. <laughs> hey, let's not panic. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. We've just been kidnapped and we're all wearing blindfolds. <laughs> Guys, stop! It's because we haven't paid the electric bill. There's no power. We may as well just go to bed. <laughs> there you go, all tucked up tight. Good night, kids. Night, night Mom! Mom. Sorry, honey, it's just our stuff getting repossessed. By these low-life bottom feeding undereducated, unhygienic, slimy, no-neck, toxic, triple chinned, oxygen wasting, crude, gutless, foul smelling, buck tooth corrupt, felonious, disgraceful, disease ridden, bow legged, yellow bellied, backstabbing, ghoulish, vulgar, despicable, worm headed, worthless stains! <laughs> I'm only doing my job! Why are you so mean? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Probably going too far. That TV's broken. Is it? Oh! It is now. Ma'am? Yeah.